Howdy guys, Jimmy Song here. I wanted to talk a little bit about the SecQ curve library that I made, uh, you know, not too long back. I, I mean, it was literally like a few days ago. Um, the Sec P256 K1 curve is what Bitcoin uses, and it's specifically um, a curve that was not released by uh, the NSA, uh, and that's something that Satoshi thought would be useful. Um, and it, it has a particular prime and everything else. Uh, the curve that I uh, that I implemented, the Sec Q curve, is sort of the mirror curve of the Sec P curve. Uh, what that means is that it's um, the prime and the order are reversed. Uh, which is kind of a crazy uh, thing from a mathematical perspective. I was a math major back in Michigan. And thinking about that is just kind of mind-blowing to me. I don't know why that is or what what the actual deep number theory reason why you can swap the two in another curve and make it all work. Uh, but that that ends up becoming really, really useful for something called bl bulletproofs. And bulletproofs are something that... Uh, um, Blockstream has uh, ha has pioneered a little bit. I think Dan Bonet at uh, at Stanford actually get, uh, published a paper based on uh, some of the range proof work that Greg Maxwell did. Uh, now this is gonna sound all esoteric and everything else, but basically uh, when Greg Maxwell published his confidential transactions, um, you know, range proof paper. Uh, the idea was that you you would know more or less what range uh, you know the something was in. Uh, so, for example, if you want to know an amount on a particular transaction, um, you would know that it's somewhere between zero and thirty-two, but you don't know what number, right? Like, uh, and to do that, you basically have five bits that represent the thirty, uh, the number thirty-two. And you know they're all zero or one, but you don't know what that what the actual number is. And that's that's essentially the idea behind confidential transactions. This is how Monero uh, works. They they implement confidential um, transactions by utilizing range proofs. Um, the thing about range proofs, though, is that to prove that each bit is a zero or one is actually very expensive, uh, and it, it ends up becoming many kilobytes. Uh, what Dan Bonet did uh, with that at Stanford was to reduce that to a very small proof, and instead of it being kilobytes, it's, it's much, much smaller. Now, it turns out that in order to do the bulletproof properly and, and um, you know, not utilize as much space you you need some mechanism to do a lot of math around uh, the elliptic curve turns out that the mirror curve is very useful um, I'm, I'm not exactly sure why or how it makes it more useful apparently there's a Merkle tree involved and uh, you can uh, you can combine them in a particular way Anyway, uh, the SEC Q curve, uh, the fact that it exists, period, is, is kind of mind-blowing to me. The fact that it, you, you have the same equation, but the prime and the order are reversed, and you can do all sorts of really cool things with it. At, at some point, I'll, I'll uh, try to have a much better explanation of bulletproofs for you, but this is something that I wanted to make sure was out there so that you can you know, at least have some idea I, I i'm not sure i have a great idea of what it is yet either but that's uh that's something i wanted to point out anyway this song is done